Hello everyone, this is going to be a slightly less formal put together video and this is the first video in the build series for the VESC based DIY-ish one wheel restore build. There are so many ways to qualify this so I'll just try to figure it out in the titling but really what's happening is I'm taking a number of parts and assembling them into a custom DIY VESC based open source controller based one wheel shaped board. So in this first video in the installment, I'm just gonna go over the main parts that are going to go into this build, explain where they came from, what their significance is, and just walk you through, give you an idea of what's coming up because this series is gonna have multiple parts as I put together each chunk of the build. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with what kind of project this is, this is also stemming from a previous video that I did explaining what VESC is. I will link to that in the description below. I think it's very good viewing if you're new to this sort of thing, and it should help to explain what this project is about and what the significance of this kind of build brings with it. Now at the hub of this build is the hub motor. So this motor was salvaged from a one wheel plus. So it is the same motor that would go into an XR. However, this one was salvaged from a plus, and this was provided to me by my friend Vic at Victory Board Shop. Thank you very much, Vic. The tire on this is the TFL Enduro tire for the XR, and that was contributed to this project by Jeff at the Float Life, as well as these, but I'll get into these in a moment. Now, this tire was installed on this motor by my friend and colleague Russ, at Beast Coast Repairs. I'll link to that in the description below. I did a video with him on the GT version of the Enduro tire. And so big thanks to Russ for installing this tire and these TFL lifesavers. The lifesavers were provided by One Stop Board Shop. Many thanks for that. And also provided by One Stop Board Shop are these controller boxes that were 3D printed. So in the front of a one wheel is a box that houses the ESC, the motor controller, and the lights and all that stuff. And so this is a custom designed by Flow Glider. I'll link to them in the description below. So if you're curious about these parts, the information will be in the description for you. Now, these were custom designed by Flow Glider and these are 3D printed. And Junior at One Stop Board Shop 3D printed those for me. He did too. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. In case I screw one up, I do have a backup. And the motor controller going in to these boxes is a V1, an original Little Fokker. It is a single VESC based ESC. And I believe they're up to version 3.1 now. This is an old one. I've been sitting on this one since last year. I do have an extra. It's always good to have a backup. And so just in case I burn one, I got another. This motor controller has to be modified a bit. I got to move one capacitor over to the other side so it fits in the box properly. I'm going to do an entire video just on putting together this front box, all the wiring, modifications to the motor controller, all of that stuff. And so that is the front. And we talked about the motor coming to this part. This was also contributed to this project by Jeff from the Float Life. Many thanks again to Jeff. And it is a beautiful, beautiful set of homebrew rails. I do like the straight shaped rails. My preference is a pretty plain flat type of ride. I'm very much into the basic stuff and so I am thrilled to have these gorgeous homebrew straight shaped rails. Fantastic. Thank you so much Jeff. And so this will be the frame within which this board is built. Coming to the rear, this is an old XR battery box that I just bought from the One Wheel Facebook Marketplace because I didn't have a spare one. So Paid a bunch for that, nice, and it was so dirty, and I cleaned it up. And rather than use the stock battery or buy one, because why on earth would I do that? Uh, these are some cells. These are Molasell P28As. I got a few cases of this. This one has been opened for work, and so I'm going to build a 20S2P battery to power this. This was the BMS that I was going to put into it. This is an Enoid 24S capable, and this is going into a job that I have to build. I'm building a 20S Eastgate, and so that is no longer going to be used. I hopefully will be getting a beta unit of a new 
BMS that will fit in this box. And so you'll see that when I build the battery for this, I will give you all that information because yeah, that thing needs to be tested. And so this is going to be a test bed for that new BMS. Oh, and also uh, the box of new parts. So Mauser, DigiKey, Newark, and got all these parts. These are the automotive adapters that the original One Wheel XR and Plus and V1 used. And there are crimps. These are the bullet connectors for the motors. There's a whole bunch of parts. I will, of course, list part numbers in the description of each video in the segment where it is appropriate. So the connectors that will be in the front box in that video, I will link to those. The power harness that is gonna go from the back to the front box also have those parts. I am going to custom make the wiring harness. So rather than have one of these weird, terrible, gross wiring harnesses that are usually in an XR, I'm just gonna make my own with the appropriate wiring and go from there. So once again, we will put those together as that happens. So many, many thanks to all the folks that are contributing to this project. I am going to try to make each segment video as detailed as possible with as much relevant information as I can. Many thanks to all of the people who are way farther ahead on the pioneering edge of this kind of project work and development. Folks like Surf Dotto, whose channel I will link to in the description as well. Mitch, who really kind of is the godfather of the balance app code for Vesk. Hannes, who is pretty much the godfather of the tune settings of this that make it ride super, super well. And we will go all over those things as we get to them. Very much a cross that bridge when we get to it type thing. So I do want to express my appreciation for all of the people who not just have physically contributed items here, but who have intellectually contributed to this entire sphere. Your time, your work, your effort, and your intelligence is very, very much appreciated, not just by me, but by a large amount of the community. And so rather than ramble on, it is, I'd say about 96 degrees in here. So I have to actually get some work done before I collapse. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for this series and don't faint. It is hot out here. Oh, last thing. The bumpers on this board are going to be these. You may have seen them if you do watch some of my videos, these in the background. These are bang bumpers from the Float Life and these two colorways are the Corridor Crew limited run of colors. And I'm likely gonna use these, the black and yellow because they are gorgeous and they will match with the black homebrew rails. Huge fan of Corridor for obvious reasons. And so these are gonna go on there.